so the JavaScript ecosystem doesn't get to have all the fun anymore when it comes to well-designed and easily customizable login pages. Now, if you have ever thought, hey, I wish I made that login or registration page look better, now you can just make it happen with Auth by DevDojo. So the soft package is by the Dev Dojo team by Tony Lea, and it's one of the things that I've been loving and diving into, and I want to install it on a video and just show off some of the features that it has, some of the things that I've really loved, and the things I'm really looking forward to as well. It's billed as this customizable off screen specifically for your Laravel app. You can easily add authentication features with the flip of a switch and then customize it to fit your brand. And so the ease of use to be able to customize it, things like adding a logo can all be done without actually touching the code. It's all just like a setting screen. And that works great if you just don't want to have to think about it. A lot of times, you know, I just use Laravel Breeze and I just change out the logo. But if I ever need to add social authentication, then I have to like redo all of those pages. This seeks to improve that. This seeks to help that flow. So why don't we install it? Okay, I'm gonna start off by creating a new layer of application. We'll just call this layer of new pretty auth and we'll go ahead and use breeze with the class api with laravel volt we'll no dark mode all of these will be default but then we'll install this auth package and see what are the features uh, that it has for us hey real quick did you know that over 80 percent of you who are watching this video right now are actually not subscribed so why don't you do yourself a favor and do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button thank you so much for your support and Let's get back. Again, we'll just run all the uh, normal migrations, the normal setup, and then we'll go ahead and install this auth package and see what it has to offer for us. Perfect, we'll go into our pretty auth folder, and then we'll go ahead and compose a required dev dojo auth. Here we go. Now let's look at the installation settings. So we're gonna install it for Breeze Starter Kit and we'll need to publish the config and migrations. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect, then we can run PHP artisan migrate. All right, let's see what we're up to next. Now we'll need to extend the dev dojo user model from your default user PHP model and then add this to the class. Okay, so as auth user and then extends auth user. Let's go ahead and pull up our code. Okay, use this and then we'll extends auth user. Perfect. So yeah, it looks like we're we're moving that authenticatable and just using this extends auth user instead. Now we can remove the guest authentication routes from auth.php. So auth.php. Um, actually, we'll go to the routes file and then we'll remove the guest routes. Okay, enable the name field for registration. So auth setup settings. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what this auth setup does. So we'll go ahead into our warp. Um, this is my code editor, or this is my terminal, excuse me, and I'll, we'll run herd opens since I'm using Laravel herd, and that just automatically pulls it up here. Perfect. Now, why don't we go to, I believe it said auth setup. And now look at this, this is the authentication setup page where we have the ability to change appearance, any social providers we want to add, as well as just normal settings. And instead we need to enable the name field. So we'll go ahead and do that. It looks like it's automatically saved. Um, let's go back into our home page and see what this looks like. And register. You can see right out of the gate. It just looks really nice. So we have the, the these these nice animations when we click into each one of these fields. We have um, the difference between sign in and sign up pages. These links that are ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and sign up. Okay, and then just everything works as you would expect. So. Um, it doesn't change the functionality of any starter kit that you use, whether that be Breeze or Jetstream or even Filament. It just changes the login and password request and password verification and registration pages. Why don't we go back into that setup and see what kind of settings there are for us. So we have auth slash setup. And I believe, let's take a look at these settings. I believe this is only customizable within a local setup. So we have the ability to change an appearance, 
change colors as well as a background like if I wanted to change this background color to a, a blue and then maybe for colors um, let's say the text color is going to be uh, more of a darker darker blue here then why don't we take a look at what that looks like in our actual setup log in and there we go now we have that background screen kind of already ready for us okay why don't we change this to left aligned okay let's see what that looks like there we go we have this easy to install easy to enable and then easy to customize setup where everything just works for us so if you wanted to you know upgrade your existing applications login and registration pages without having to actually touch the code and and do all that yourself this is the perfect package to do it looks like if you have if you set the env variables for you know any of these social providers you can just turn it on and it automatically works i wonder if i don't have it installed if i if i would if i automatically give it yeah just continue with facebook that's as simple as it is like if i want to do you know all these even though i don't have the actual client ids and secrets in my code just yet it automatically gives me those options i love it you have the ability to set specific settings so um, like enable two-factor authentication as well as email verification if we wanted to and then we even have the ability to change specific language uh, so modifying the actual layout and the actual wording of these pages instead of just having to modify the the customization in, in terms of colors and branding and styles so if i want to say 2fa challenge for here looks like in addition it enables authentication events so you can kind of hook into when something happens so all that's automatically set up for you so if something like a login actually happens then you can do whatever you want with that login event in your code it's a nice little touch. Overall, I love what the Dev Dojo team and specifically Tony Lay have put together with this auth package. It really just allows you to get up and moving even faster without having to worry about that customization or that flexibility and brand this how you might like. Now, yes, the Breeze or the Jetstream authentication pages out of the box might work great, but as soon as you need to add you know, social login or maybe two-factor authentication, then those are pages that you usually have to build yourself. Of course, you can then pull in a package, but if you want one cohesive uh, flexibility, one cohesive package and look across your whole application, well, this is a great starting point. So why don't you try it out and keep creating. Thank you.